Shalom, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful, rainy, holy Judean hills of the ancestral homeland of the Jewish people here in the Judean hills of Israel. So today we're going to talk about UNRWA. Well, America, Canada, other countries have finally decided to defund UNRWA because they have seen that employees of UNRWA are Hamas terrorists. You see, we have been talking about this for years. UNRWA is Hamas. Hamas is UNRWA. I've been talking about this for years. I've been working with people who've been showing this proof to politicians in European capitals, in Washington, D.C., for years, showing them the United Nations funds UNRWA, America, Canada, European nations, give money that go towards teaching children to be terrorists. UNRWA educates children to want to kill Jews, have kindergarten graduations of killing Jews, teachers that teach these things, educational materials that teach these things, and the materials have been shown to politicians all over the world, videos have been shown to politicians all over the world. I know, I worked with the people who've gone to the capitals. I personally interviewed Mike Johnson, sitting Speaker of the House, uh, back in March 2023, before he was Speaker, and he is a co-signer of the bill to defund UNRWA. So the whole world has ignored all the information to date so I'm not thanking all these countries for defunding UNRWA. October 7th could have been stopped had all these countries years ago defunded UNRWA. UNRWA is Hamas. Hamas is UNRWA. And ready for this, it's much worse than that because UNRWA is just the arm of the United Nations. The United Nations has allowed for international funding to support terrorism. And they're still doing it today. Today, Israel is allowing aid to go into Gaza being punished or threatened by America, that if we don't allow that aid in, then who knows what they're going to do. They're going to withhold arms. They're going to withhold veto at the United Nations. But guys, America's defunding UNRWA. Why are they forcing Israel to give aid to UNRWA, which everybody knows goes to Hamas, because UNRWA is Hamas. Hamas is UNRWA in Gaza. They're the ones that take all the aid. It's not going to the people who need it in Gaza. It's helping Hamas fight us and kill us another day and do horrible, horrendous things to our captives that they're holding in Gaza. If anything, the Israeli people are justified. They are protesting. Do not allow any aid into Gaza until they release our hostages. That is the basic, the basic call to action. There's no way Hamas should be allowed to get aid. UNRWA should be allowed to get aid if they are holding our hostages. Not even the International Red Cross is allowed to go to them. But yet, America is pressuring Israel to give this aid, and the Israeli army and police are stopping all the protesters that are trying to stop this aid from going into Gaza. So my question to all of you is, should we be thankful to the world for defunding UNRWA when UNRWA is not really the problem? It's the United Nations, and the world is still allowing the United Nations to support UNRWA and for UNRWA to continue to get aid in Gaza. So where do we go from here, folks? The evil is all the way at the top, the top of the United Nations, top of all these governments, that even while thankfully, finally defunding UNRWA, how much of a difference is that going to make if UNRWA really is the UN? So Hamas is UNRWA, UNRWA is Hamas, and UNRWA is the UN. See the problem? We're going to get out of this. We're here in our ancestral homelands. We're going to win because we have God above. Trust yourselves. Trust the truth. Trust God above. We're going to get out of this mess. But understand, this is messy. This is evil. So don't go running over yourselves and saying, thank you, thank you, America and Canada and all the countries for defunding. They should have defunded UNRWA years ago. It's their fault that UNRWA still exists, that Hamas is still in power, and that Israel is still forced to accept their existence and still give aid to them. Wake up, everyone. Share this video to help other people wake up. And if you're not, a, not yet a subscriber to Pulse of Israel videos, go to pulseofisrael.com and click to subscribe because nowhere else are you getting the inspiring, politically incorrect truth that needs to be shared everywhere. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.